two baits, no matter what happens across the country, from from Maine to Spain. I've been there trying to get bites, whatever I'm trying to do. I got two setups that I'm gonna throw that's gonna be on the front deck. It's gonna be a Texas rig. It's gonna be something as simple as a mag finesse worm, slinky, 316 ounce VMC weight, a 3 RDWG hook on 16, 18 pound sunline, 7, 4, 13 rod, medium heavy. Got me a Z slide reel. What I'm going for right there is the gear ratio. 6, 8 to 1, it's a simple combo. That's the number one thing. When I'm trying to get bites, brush piles, fence posts, drag in trees, no matter what, I can pick that Texas rig up and pitch it around real quick. Cold water, hot water, I'm able to get a few bites. Sometimes in practice, you just need to know where the fish are. Then you can come back and catch them. System number two. And you know where I'm going with this. It's going to be a 3 8 ounce balling out G buckeye with a zoom crawl on the back. That right there's a Z hog and I throw a Z crawl. Green pumpkin on brown. Don't get no better. Throw black and blue when it's muddy. That right there's 18 pound line. 7 6 medium heavy 13 rod with the same exact reel. 6 8 to 1. These baits are simple and proven. Don't overthink it. Texas rig real fast. You can probably say, gee, why, why Texas rig over a shaky head? because I can't throw a shaky head in the middle of that big old tree right there and get it back out. I can't pitch a shaky head effectively around lay down logs without hanging. Skipping docks, pitching around, I, I'm moving around with this. I may pitch it in a clump of grass, under a dock, a blow down, a fence post, whatever gets in the way, these two baits are gonna get put to play. Sometimes getting bites builds confidence. Confidence builds more bites. That's what it's all about. What, say I pull in a pocket and I pick this worm up and I get six or eight bites, I got enough confidence to come back in this pocket in a tournament situation, an elite series, whatever it is, pull back in here and I may get out a big jig and work around this pocket and then turn around and come back over it with a worm. Find baits, find your confidence baits, these are mine, and get bites. Once you get bites, you settle down and you always seem to fish a little better. You know, is there a time that the jig's better than the worm? Not necessarily. I just kind of pick and choose during the day. Like if I'm in an area that it's, it's known for like Eufaula, a lot of clay banks known for crawfish, big crawfish. So yeah, I may have a tendency to pitch a jig a little bit more. It just really, I, I just pick them up as the sea needed. I go pitch a worm in one pocket or, or down a bank if I don't get any bites, I'll pick my jig up, pitch to the next one. You seem to want dirtier water. Sometimes I'll go more with the jig versus uh, cleaner water. I'll go with just a straight Texas rig pitching system. You know, people think of 3 16 and, and you'll see, I don't even have it pegged. And a lot of times people say, well, you peg it. Well, let me tell you what happens. If I'm pitching this right here under a dock and say I'm pitching a little worm like that and it goes down and I hop the bait, I hop the rod, this bait's gonna separate and guess what this is gonna do? It's gonna glide down. So then I hop it again and it's gonna do the same thing. When this separates, you get a really cool action in shallow water. You know, if I'm just pitching isolated cover like this, it doesn't, I don't think it has to be pegged. I like to set up like that because I get more action. The lighter weight's gonna get you more bites. It's just always gonna get you more bites if you can get away with it. If you get in current, a little bit heavier cover, jump up to a quarter. I've even flipped a 5 16 but I always start with a VMC 3 16 tungsten weight. And I know no matter what they feed on or where I go, I can get bites on these two baits. So to me, it's all about confidence. You know, a lot of people ask why the balling out head is, you know, why, why is it a ball head? Well, for, for instance, to me, a shaky head catches more fish just throwing around on a, on a, on a spinning reel as anything. So I was like, why not make a ball head jig? It really, the way it falls, the way it skips, I put a small profile skirt on it. It's really compact. I put a little trailer on it. It catches big fish, but it's pretty small in the water. It's pretty efficient around cover. I seem to get a great hookup ratio on fish. You don't seem to lose many at all to me. The smaller compact jig is the way to go. As well as this does for me getting bites, traveling all over the country, it'll be great for anyone just starting out to take a real simple system like this and start fishing it. You know, pick a few baits out and fish them very well. You don't have to pick a whole lot of baits. You don't, have, you don't need 40 baits lined up here not fishing any of them good. If you're just starting, just pick you a couple of baits, whatever they are, and just fish them really well. When it comes to rod selection, a lot of what you see on my front deck when it comes to pitching and flipping and spinner baiting, buzz bait and it's usually a 7413 medium heavy omen rod and a 76. This rod to me is very universal. Not super heavy action. I don't want that. It has a really soft tip but a lot of backbone but I can do anything from small spinner baiting to buzz baiting, pitch it a big jig. These are very I, th I would call them universal or, or great pieces of a utility tool you need. You really to me 
lights out. I, I'm, I'm gonna stay seven six, seven four, medium heavy always.